Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda Civic 1.6 EX diesel. This particular car is registered HF63 OKH, and mileage at the start of the road test is 72,514 miles. The reason we do these videos, as I say in all of them, is basically so that if you're looking at this car online in an advert, you actually get to see the very car in operation, which we feel is really important given that people are willing to travel you know, huge distances to come and see our cars. Uh, we know to our cost just how frustrating it can be to go and see a car, only to get there to find out it's got a fundamental problem, which you clearly should have been told about before setting off. So that's why we do it. The road test is also done on the same road test route as any prospective buyer would go on. Uh, hopefully that way it'd be representative of what you feel yourself should you be offered in a, a test drive in the car. Uh, brief background to this one, uh, this particular car, this is my own personal car, of course I need a car to get around day in day out, and this is the one I drive, um, uh, so I know it very, very well indeed. Uh, brilliant cars, It's I only have them for a short tenure, so I don't have to pick up any car tax, um, but it's just, uh, I think this is about the fifth or sixth in a row I've had, they, they are just brilliant cars. Uh, reason I love them, starting with the engine as I always do on these videos, um, is because in the real world of driving, and, and I mean day in, day out, short trips, long trips, whatever, um, it's just a great car. Uh, the engine is simply brilliant. It's got plenty of performance, it's smooth and quiet in operation, um, pulls really well from low revs, but it gives without having to cosset it really really good fuel economy um, I on average just in short trips I'm mid 60s to the gallon um, and on longer trips over 70 so I mean and it, it, these are achievable they're not sort of pie in the sky things you can't get but of course as with everything it is down to driving style how you drive them um, but as I said I'm not treating them particularly gently in that sense but um, I tend to, tend to change up nice and early to extract, the, you know, use the torque of the engine rather than sort of labouring in the gears. Uh, but the engine, it just, you know, it is superb. Starts instantly, as they always do. Um, settles to completely smooth and even idle. And there are no warning lights on the dashboard relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Just wait here. That's my neighbour and his Honda HRV. Um, he had one of these as well, funny enough. Um, anyway, I digress. But yeah, so temperature gauge, I'll tell you when I've gotten further in the test drive because obviously I started from cold. Engine then feeds through clutch and into gearbox. Clutch on the car, absolutely perfect. Bike point is exactly where it's meant to be and it's nice and smooth in operation. Gearbox, again, absolutely brilliant. It's a wonderful gear change. Honda do these things so well. It's got a really lovely quality of shift. Um, you know, it feels mechanical, it's direct, it's accurate, always goes where you want it to. The springing between the gears, the synchro mesh, uh, just is a class act, it really is, and I can feel zero wear in it. Same goes for the steering, again, can't feel anywhere in it at all, feels absolutely direct as it would have done from new. Um, tracks absolutely dead straight, there's no vibrations coming back through the steering wheel at this speed or any speed up to the league limit, and obviously I know the car well in that respect. Um, but a wonderful power steering system because it gives you a real directness. So the corners like this, minimal movements, lovely weighting to the steering, really positive, makes the car feel really settled on the road. Um, and it flows with the chassis because the chassis is eminently capable of keeping up with the steering in a funny old way. It loves to change direction, beautifully damped, brilliant body control through the corners. So if you're an enthusiastic driver, you'll love them. But if you just want to sort of plod along, they are wonderfully compliant and comfortable as well. Um, no nasty noises coming from underneath the vehicle. Um, all going to be checked. It's going to be, even though it's not due for four or five months, um, I'm getting an early MOT done as part of the sale of the vehicles, just to give a bit of sort of peace of mind should someone purchase the vehicle. Um, but it really is, you know, it's talent in that respect. Brakes, as I've just shoved on there, by the way, uh, really powerful brake pedal no vibrations no pulsing uh, all feels really really good but again will be checked as part of MOT
looking around inside the car unfortunately I've just turned around into the sun so it'll all be rather gleamy and shiny uh, dashboard just looks absolutely as new and it's a brilliant dashboard I don't tire of it I've had umpteen of these cars in hatchback form and estate form um, and I just love them I fit like a glove in the things I just love the interior design which I know doesn't appeal to everybody which I think is a really good part of any design it shouldn't appeal to everybody um, what I like about it is the fact that it is very stylish uh, it's interesting but it works it's not just for show it's not there just for, as, as a gimmick um, the most conventional part as I always say is this centre stack here but you've got your big screen sat nav with the DAB radio dual zone climate control different temperatures side to side which pumps out absolutely ice cold air by the way even in the hottest temperatures um, heated seats all working perfectly switch gear wonderful quality of actuation to it um, and then my favorite part this two-tier design with the upper deck giving you information you look at on a more regular basis so things like your information display there um, so if you touch the controls for the climate control of the radio you have the display down here but also up there so you're not taking your eyes off the road and then more importantly from my point of view the speedo again hovering in the perfect position so you can look at the road ahead pedestrians cyclists etc uh, but you can keep your eye on your speed at all times without having to crane your neck down at all it's just brilliant in the way it works um, down below that obviously a more conventional pod in this case of th three dials the rev counter in the middle flanked either side by the fuel gauge and temperature gauge temperature gauge now running at a third which is exactly where it's meant to be on a honda car by the way um, steering wheel feels as new in hand lovely thick rim steering wheel feels brilliant in hand as well uh, all the controls working exactly as they should my mobile phone's paired to it so the hft is working as it should they always do on these anyway but that's by the by uh, cruise control i use that regularly um, again all checked and working um, but it's beautifully made absolutely beautifully made not a hint of a squeak or a rattle or a buzz from the interior trim it is just a very high quality vehicle which is why they're so sought after second hand and why their the values command a premium over competitive makes in all honesty um, as I said at the start of the video, the point is to pick up any issues that might show up on test drive and there's nothing at all. I wouldn't have bought it for myself otherwise. Um, it is wonderfully tight in the way it drives. I cannot differentiate between this and a new one, in all honesty. Um, as I always say though, if you've got any questions about the car, you know, don't hesitate, do give us a call.